Hi. Hi. Hi, Ben. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So how often do you do this? Uh, usually I'll go and meet an escort about once every two to four weeks. In London it's usually about uh, £100 an hour. So why is it that you pay for sex? For a lot of the time I struggle with women. And paying for sex for me is a way of experiencing the kind of sex that I probably wouldn't without paying for it, frankly. So how many prostitutes have you slept with? Uh, between 30 and 40, although I haven't kept an exact count. They tend to be single mothers or students, um, mostly because they hours that sex work offers are quite flexible. If buying sex was made illegal, mm -hmm. would it stop you? It would stop me from buying sex in this country. Um, to me, it's not worth the risk of being uh, arrested for a crime that would ha have such a stigma attached to it. An anti-prostitution advocate would probably see that as a good thing. They would see it as working. Uh, what they don't take into account is that the fewer clients there are, the less choice there is for people who work in the sex industry. It would give them less choice in the type of customer they had, which would probably mean that they would have to take greater risks. How do you justify hmm. paying sex? I would argue that it's no more odds than, say, people who get dressed up every Saturday night, go out, get drunk, and sleep with a stranger in a flat that they don't know, and potentially no less risky. The thing people don't understand when they talk about the morality of paying for sex is there's a huge variation inside the sex industry. Does the fact that, for example, someone who may be working in porn might have a drugs habit that compels them to keep working in porn, meaning that someone who watches that person's film is guilty. Um, to me, it's a grey area. If you're so worried about being caught, why do it? At the moment, for me, the risk of getting caught is less than the pain of uh, going through life without any female companionship, without any uh, intimacy. And this is something that doesn't get talked about much by uh, people on either side of the debate. For a lot of customers, it's not so much the orgasm that they're chasing, it's the intimacy of just being able to lie with someone in a bed for one or two hours that's absent from their regular life a lot. If you're socially awkward, if you're shy, uh, it can literally take years to meet someone and enjoy what other people have taken for granted since they were teenagers, basically. From my perspective, if I had never paid for sex, I would have had a very lonely life. 